Hi, this is Rich Goss from Productive Project Solutions. So we always love helping people get the most out of Smartsheet. And so we thought it was about time we started showing a few things that you can do with Bridge, which is an amazing capability from Smartsheet, which is again, still no code. And it takes it to another level in terms of the advanced ability to connect with other systems. But also what I'm gonna show today is what you can do within Smartsheet itself. So there'll be times when there are things you wanna do and if you've got the core app, um, what you can achieve with that bit. Then when you've got the advanced apps and using things like Data Shuttle, where and I've done trick, tips and tricks where you can move data around within the system, Bridge takes things up yet another level on that side. So let's dive in. But before we do, just a quick reminder, uh, at Productive, we love working with clients around the world, helping them achieve amazing things and solve their business challenges with Smartsheets. And again, we like to go deep and use our industry expertise and help you solve real life business problems because we've come from an industry background as well. So if you get stuck, want some support, want some guidance, please do reach out to us. If you find these uh, videos of value, the fact you're watching it is great news, um, please do like, subscribe if you're not already, then that way then and put a comment so that then others who might be interested and find this of value will be um, alerted to these videos as well. So no further ado, let's dive in and show you a bit about Bridge. So going into Bridge, uh, it's a separate login clearly. Um, and again, you get that with your enterprise plan. And if you're on um, Smartsheet Gold or Platinum um, on the advanced plan, um, on the advanced plan, or if you purchase it as a, as a separate standalone product. Now within, you'll often think that Bridge is all about connecting as the name will suggest with other systems. And here are some integrations that are pre-built in, in terms of that you can do within the system. And so you've got number ones, which are kind of here already, or again, you can use webhooks or um, API calls. And this way then you can kind of connect with systems that aren't listed here as well through um, APIs. But the key really that I wanna jump into today is integrations that you might use within Smartsheet itself. And what happens with Bridge is it listens out four triggers and then you create rules when things happen. So if you're working within Smartsheet already and you know about creating automations, when something happens, do something. This is the same process here. So if we look at some of the options of triggers that you might have within Bridge, if we go to the Smartsheet side, I'm just gonna go in and click here, add to a trigger, and you can see triggers when rows are added, changed, or deleted, when columns are added, changed, or deleted, or when values in a column are changed, comments are added, or attachments are added, then that can trigger something to happen. So Bridge, when it's set up, be looking out for a sheet for something to happen on that basis. And again, once you're in, then actually you can then set up the various rules of what happens. So I'm gonna to jump to a kind of more complex workflow that Phil has got on here, where you've got decision-making, which is subject to something happening. There's various rules when the content is added to a sheet. Um, but what I'm gonna do is to get us started with something much simpler on this piece. and. I've got a, a piece here, which is a translator. And simply put, when I've got it connected to a sheet in that when something is added, it's gonna translate it into Spanish. So this is using, I'll just collapse down here. If I look at the integrations, this is using the um, Google Translate and it's simply translating. So I what I did was I dragged that into the workflow. I used Google Translate, I connected it up and I've got various, settings in here, which is telling in which sheet to look at, what is, I've coded it to say when something happens on that row, it will translate it from English to Spanish, and then it will update the row on that side. And so I'll show you that one in a moment. And equally, I've got another one. This is where I think it's incredibly powerful because if you're working on a major project or there's something which is going on for a long time, and you've got status changes happening the whole time. You can create an archive, you can copy those rows to different sheets, which is something which I've shown previously. Another solution we're looking at is you might actually just want comments added each time that things are changed to it. So take, for example, you've got a risk log and the status changes on that risk and it's updated and updated. And this is a long serving project. Do you want that row entry to go into a sheet each time? No, actually maybe what you want, if we go to here, is each time something's changed and updated, 
then actually it's added to the comments here. So, so you can see in terms of when things are changed on here, it records a copy of the comment. And you can see on here the sheet, various things have been updated. So you can have the history going back and this makes it very easy that you can look and see the various information over time as it builds on, on this project on here. So just go back to the comments, sorry, on here. And so various information is coming through on the side. So what I'm just gonna show you is how this actually works. I'm going to go to the summary status of one of the projects, so Project Rapid Starter, and let's just update the status to say the project is now green, some initial delays, and so back on um, on track and um, ahead of schedule by one week, for example. Um, decisions escalations are nil. Um, PM recent achievements, so got back on track. Key next steps. Keep moat motoring, for example. Keep motoring, keep motoring is what we're saying. And what I'm going to do is this is in my status update. You can see this was last updated in December. So if I save this now, that date is going to change. Now, the way this is set up is this is at a project level and this is connected up through to my portfolio status sheet as well. So if I just go to the, the other sheet here, all, all my various projects in this portfolio roll up and I've got an example of it here as well. Now, what I've got, I've got two bridge workflows, as I was showing you a moment ago, that are running off this one. So one is the, the summary status. When this updates, then we will see this come through, that the status update will naturally be updated just through these cell links, which are connected through the various flow, which are built in control center. But when that flow comes through, and you can see this was again, last updated in December, then it when that change triggers, what's gonna happen is in bridge, that will trigger the change here. The status will be updated on the sheet and then bridge will off it go. And what it will do, in parallel, just to show you the translation side, it will also update here. So we can see that that has just come through in terms of the status update. That's come through via the standard um, control center connections onto this sheet. What it now is happening is that bridge, that should have triggered off bridge to run. And we will see, and I'm just gonna keep on the screen for a moment, this will now update in terms of, or rather this information here will update. And in terms of the, um, this bit in Spanish, this should then also update momentarily as well. And there you go. So we can see back on track and ahead of schedule. <clears throat> and de nuevo en marcha y an antes de lo previsto una, una semana. Not the greatest translation um, bit on that side. So apologies for Google Translate for uh, not quite saying it, but maybe I should have been clearer on my English um, on that side. But you can see that that translation has come through into the system. Again, you can use ChatGPT. We've done a video on that before to compare, is ChatGPT better at translating than Google Translate? Okay, don't shoot the messenger, but um, I think Google Translate, we decided had it um, on that side. So, um, so ChatGPT had, had it on that side. So, but that showed you automatically, you can have sheets where you can translate content. So if you're working across borders and your team's giving updates on status on projects, you can translate that automatically using Bridge. But also let's just look here in terms of the comments. So we can see that the last update was well, on the 19th of December, on the 20th of December, it went from green to yellow. And we can see here on the 11th of January, it has just gone back to green, back on track and ahead of schedule by one week. Escalations nil, recent um, achievements, got back on track, next steps, keep motoring. So again, this way you've got history, which will build over time. What's great about this is that the comments, there's no limit to how many comments you can have over time. And so you can have a whole source of these comments and the history and that information. So we think this is an incredibly powerful way to actually have an audit trail and have information about the history um, of what's happening on the project. And you can use it in many ways. Using this really just as an intro to some of the things that Bridge can do and in terms of the triggers of how information you can move it around, get all sorts of information which you can't normally have. So we'll do a lot more videos to follow, um, showing you some of the amazing things you can do with Bridge, both 
inside SmartSheet and beyond with the other systems that it connects with as well, or where we can connect it to um, using API calls. So trust that's been helpful. I trust that if you haven't seen Bridge before or weren't aware of what it does or just thought it was a system to connect with other, other pieces, then hopefully this is starting to change your perception of that bit and get in touch if you want to find out more about how we're doing this and how valuable we are finding it as well. So thanks for watching. More supply. Bye for now.